my friends. I'm bringing to you today a story called I Know It's Autumn. It's by Eileen Spinelli. And take a look. There's some apples being picked on the front of this book. I know a lot of the children I've been talking to have been saying they've been going apple picking. So let's see what else people like to do in autumn. Hmm. Let's see. I know it's autumn when the morning light comes late. When there's a pumpkin muffin on my breakfast plate. When daddy brings my jacket from the storage box and grandpa wears a bathrobe and his slipper socks. I know it's autumn when the school bus toots its horn when we drive past an empty field that once grew corn. When leafy trees turn colors red, gold, and brown, and Farmer Freddy brings his harvest into town. I know it's autumn when we rake the leaves in piles, when doorstep jack-o'-lanterns wear their crooked smiles. When we go apple picking for mom's apple pie. And noisy geese fly south across the evening sky. There they are. You can see they make a letter V up in the sky. I know it's autumn when the moon is full and bright, when we go on a hayride with our friends at night. When bonfires blaze and the storyteller leaps and claps and all the kids grow sleepy on their daddy's laps. Sweet autumn dreams, everyone. The end. So, did it look like this book takes place in New York City? Let me take a peek. Hmm. Well, if you look out this window here, I can see what looks like a farm. It looks like a barn out there, and I see some mountains. That's not really what I see when I look around where we live. When I look around where we live, I see big buildings instead of mountains. Hmm. Kitchen looks about the same though. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, look at here. There's the school bus. There's only one house there. There's just not so many houses and I don't see any apartment buildings. And look, there's a field where the corn grows. So this doesn't look like it's in the city to me. It looks like it's in the country. But I bet you oh, they have a lot of the same sights and smells and flavors for autumn as we do. For example, I know it's autumn when the morning light comes late. Have you noticed that, guys? Has your morning sun been coming late? Is it sometimes still dark when you wake up? Because the days are growing shorter because it's not summer anymore. It's autumn. He says he has a pumpkin muffin on his plate. Hmm, a pumpkin muffin? Do we have pumpkin muffins around here? I know when I went to Dunkin' Donuts, I could get a pumpkin donut. Hmm, and I know my daughter was drinking a pumpkin coffee the other day. Yeah, I think that's the same. How about getting out the warm jackets and maybe wearing some socks? Yeah, 
that's kind of the same. How about the leaves falling from the trees? We have trees here in New York City, right? Have some of the leaves been changing colors? When you're walking on the sidewalk, are there crunchy leaves underneath? Yeah, I've been seeing that. So there's some things that are the same about the, living in the country, but some things that are different about the city. So let's go back, because you know what, boys and girls, we have been talking a lot about things that we see with our eyes, we smell with our noses, we hear with our ears, we taste with our tongues, and we can feel with our skin, we can feel with our hands. So on this page, when the morning sun comes up, is that something that you can smell? Is that something you can taste? Is that something you can see? There you go. We can see with our eyes when the morning sun comes up. What about that pumpkin muffin? What do you do with a pumpkin muffin? Hmm. I can see it. I can see it right there in the book. Hmm. Have you ever smelled a pumpkin muffin? I have. They smell pretty good. And it looks like he's tasting his pumpkin muffin right now. He's tasting it. You think it's making any sound? I think it's probably a pretty quiet muffin. Hmm. So, why do we need our jackets? Why do we need our socks in the autumn? Is it so we can see better? Is it so we can hear something? It's so we can feel something. What do we want to feel when we put on our warm clothes? There you go, I said it. We want to feel warmer. We don't want to feel cold. We want to feel warm. So we put on our warm clothes. Here we have the school bus toots its horn. Have you ever smelled that when the school bus toots its horn? No? What about the cars out on the street when they honk their horns? You don't smell that? That's right, that's right. You hear it when they toot their horns. You hear it with, their, with your ears. And over here, the leafy trees turn red and gold and brown. The red and the gold and the brown, you can see with your eyes. Farmer Freddy brings the harvest into town. It looks here like he has some apples and he has some zucchini. I thought I saw some corn there. Maybe I imagined the corn. So those apples and those zucchini, are these children going to take those home and just smell them? They'll probably taste them. They'll smell them with their noses, but they'll also taste them. I wonder if that apple, do you think it might make a sound that they can hear with their ears? The apple might be a little crunchy just like those autumn leaves. We can see the leaves turning color, but when we step on them, we can hear the crunch, and we can feel the crunch a little bit too. We can hear and feel that crunching. Oh, they're picking those apples for that apple pie. I wonder, do you think they might make their apple pie taste a little bit sweet? Maybe they'll add a little sugar to it, make it taste very sweet. Oh, there go those geese flying by. Do you know what sound the geese make? The geese make a honking sound, just like that school bus before. It really does. It sounds like honk, honk. That's what geese sound like when they make their noises. Oh. I know it's autumn when the moon is full and bright. We can't smell the moon, 
We can't taste the moon, but we can see it way up high in the sky. How about this bonfire? They're having a campfire. That's a nice thing to do if you can. Do you, how do you think that fire feels? Yeah, you can't touch the fire because it's very hot. It feels very hot. But if you sit near the fire, if you sit near the fire, it's kind of warm. It's kind of cozy. And it smells kind of nice too. And it looks like they're all listening to somebody who's singing a song and telling a story and clapping hands. They're listening. Oh, this little guy's clapping his hands too. And then when they get very tired, the children get all wrapped up in a blanket, cozy and warm, and they feel so warm and sleepy. All right, so that's a lot of things to see and hear and feel and taste and smell in the autumn. I wonder if there's anything that we can see or taste or smell or feel or listen to here in New York City that wasn't in the book. I hope you guys will leave a little something in the comments for me so I can see that. All righty. Thanks for listening.